Bede duk ani khayet. Ane chero. Semba au. Her khwat. Ta abesne. Piste breads. Fresh piste breads. Hello, friend. Bread for your sweetheart? No, thank you. Why do you speak a curse under your breath? The magician who sold it to me said I must recite it 200 times a day. Since I cannot recite while I sleep, I do it while I work. Though it is hard to get any baking done without my taster. What happened to your taster? God's blast the regime. They arrested him for not paying the tax on spices. And now I am out of cinnamon. Looks like you need more than a magician. The regime presses even a poor baker so hard. Helping her would be a strike against Ptolemy, however small. And her bread smells delicious. going to make a fool of me, bastard. Teta, the baker, asked me to bring you to her. My beautiful Teta. Now I can see her face again before I die. I am weak with hunger and with love. Will you carry me to Teta? If I must. Can you walk? I am too weak even to stand. Really? My strength comes from the... Does she know you feel this way about her? I have not yet been brave enough to confess my love for her. Also, I am a wanted man. I can see that. You did not pay your taxes. It has nothing to do with taxes. I'll tell you everything when we get back to Teta. Teta, beautiful Teta. Her face is like the sun. Teta, my love, I am coming to you. Hurry, 
Not much further until I can see my love again. <sighs> this man is heavy. Theta. You brought back my taster. This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta, I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Taimhotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? Lady Taimhotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday... I overheard the guards say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. Uh, they'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. This... this is all too much for me. Would you like to sit down? No, I need to think. Here <laughs> Position, get it. I should not be seen in this area. Basket of cakes. I got here in time. 
Now to make sure they will not poison anyone. Wait, you! Stop him! Basket of cakes. These need to be destroyed too. I should check to see if there are any others. Hey, you're finished. That is the last of the cakes. Tamhotep is safe now.
Hey, don't test my patience. What idiot? <laughs> Hey! Your guard up, brother. No surprises. Don't worry. Hold on. Why do you weep? Your curse is lifted. You have lost a child, so you should understand that a mother's fear never ends. Nor does a father's rage. Fear and rage are fair replies to life's fragility. Please, leave me to my tears. Neb, if you will follow me, we must give her privacy. Is there anything I can do to ease her? Hmm. She has found the ritual protection in an ancient scroll. Only a few ingredients remain to be... I'll find them. Wait, Neb. An impatient soul is a troubled one. My lady needs parts from fresh-killed sacred birds. And would you kindly bring a fertility talisman in blue faience? There is a shop south of the temple basin where such items may be found. I will meet you on the road to the pyramids afterwards. May you prosper. My child. I will get the ritual item first, and then hunt down the birds. Hey, wait! Birds take you! Oh, 
Sonate. Yeah. An abandoned tomb. The maid servant said there was a shop here. Strange place for a shop. seen your kind in some time, Medjai. We are a rare breed. As are merchants who set up shop in a tomb. My customers appreciate privacy. They do not seem to appreciate variety. My customers know I can provide what they seek. I hope you can do the same for me. May I have a look around? But of course. I'll leave you to browse. Excuse me. But I have some business to attend to. I'll be back soon. And in the second chamber lie the worldly goods of Orapolo and Shesh. To protect them and provide them sustenance. The message is incomplete. I wonder what the rest of it says. An inventory. A talisman in blue faience is listed here. I should keep looking around. Hmm. A thing of value in this room. Why would the merchant sell such cheap goods here? Ah, uh, she is hiding something. and did not want me to see this part of the shop. These goods must be stolen. A fertility talisman. Tamhotep will be pleased. Jai. You're scaring my custom! of masters of craftsmen forgive me. I was sure it was he who had brought down the curse upon Memphis. Many thought the same. It is no mark against you. By chance, I spoke to a priest of Anubis at the temple one day when I went to give worship. Oh, this is 
place is heavily guarded. The maid servant said they wanted stun. That is all the items. Now to return to the road to the pyramids. I found what you need, Tamhotep. The seer spoke truth when he named you Deliverer. My ritual must be performed in the moon shadow at the base of the pyramid of Josa. Will you guard me and my maid until it is done? There may be dangers on the road as well. Gladly. Then let us ride to the pyramid and wait until the night unfurls in splendor. There is no time. Whoa. This is uncertain country. Why not bring more guards? My ritual must remain private. Is that also why we travel off the main road? Yes, it is less safe but more secret. The lack of a son lowers my husband in the esteem of the people. And if they knew of the babes I have lost, 
his ability to compel the gods would be called into question. There are whispers against him already. My troubles bring shame to him and to me. Nebet, it is not your fault. Hush, Mara. I know you mean to be kind, but the scrolls are clear. The woman is the carrier of the child's sex. I do not believe that, Nebet. Oh, Mara, we have had this conversation before. Let us be quiet now, in case our voices carry to unfriendly ears. Good idea. Whoa. Who are those men? Trouble. Hey. Stay behind me. If I fall, get to open ground. Danger has passed. We are here. My sword stands between your ritual and any who threaten it. The Taz blessing on you. Every morning of my childhood, my father and I spoke the prayer of the Medjai, a promise to those in need. I am a Medjai. I am a feather in the eagle's wing, a living dagger plunged from the sky into the heart of chaos. I am a truth unknown, a scabbard unfilled, a son of the Nile, and a defender of the people. You cannot kill me. For I walk among the dead. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. My son should have learned this prayer from me.
Hail, pure one. May your heart be joyful, Magi. Joy is scarce while Memphis chokes on the scent of the grave. I am here to discuss Pasharemta's complaint on the informant table. Indeed. We seek a capable person to investigate this tomb. Most are too fearful of the demons within to enter. But demons would fear a priest. Why not investigate yourself? I am a vessel of the gods. I contribute through prayer. Mm, then I will face the demons. Pray that your faith shields me. Ta <laughs> grant you safety. Any yet?
I can hardly breathe. The source of this poison is closer than before. Departed. Forgive my violation of your rest. Grant that I may pass by you. Departed. Forgive my violation of your rest. Grant that I may pass by you. Offering to chase the smell. Someone has been here recently. Someone who does not fear demons. What in the name of the gods is that foulness? I should trace it to its source. <laughs> These mummies are sound. Not the cause of the smell. Mummies. They are rotted. This is a crime against the dead. Here, yeah. the flesh has decayed. But the wrappings are still intact. If the wrappings are sound, the fault lies in the embalming. Fear of demons kept the crime from being discovered. I will pay the mummification temple a visit. Fresh air. A better blessing than that priest's. was once a sacred duty entrusted to the Magi. Now, it falls to no one.
Peace be on you. May Osiris shield your loved one's journey. I do not need your services. I'm here to inspect the temple. You are no priest. In whose name do you dare profane our grounds? In the high priest's name. Prove this by messenger if you wish. Ah, yes. Poor Pasheremta. The curse weighs heavy on us all. I have had two embalmers run off since it began. Only untrained laborers are free to take their place. Such coarse fellows. I hope to discharge them soon. I look forward to meeting them. If you are here in the High Priest's name, you must be a man of power. Is this where bodies are delivered? Yes. This is the gate to the Ibu, the place of purification. The dead are brought here by their families. Then we wash them with tears wept by the gods at the death of Osiris. Or maybe just water. Hard to say. The mummies would not be tampered with so early in the process. This man is likely innocent. How old are the bodies of the dead when you get them? A few days along. The families don't bring them right away so that we aren't tempted to defile them. <laughs> I can see why they chose you to welcome the bereaved. What do you... Yes, yes, I know. You want to learn what I do here. I wash the bodies of the dead. It's a job. Been doing it for ten years now. There's little to say about it, really. A man of my own nature. He bears watching, though. Is your curiosity satisfied? Not yet. Be quicker. You disturb our work and the dead's rest. Tell me a few more details of your work. Fine. After being washed in palm wine, its cavity is stuffed with myrrh and cassia bark. If you want to know more, read Herodotus instead of pestering me. The father of lies. I hear he is overrated. Wonder if we'll get any pretty ones today. Oh. I would not want to make an enemy of you. I have no enemies, and no secrets either. This is just how you get rid of the brain, a useless organ. Next, I will open up the flank and take out the liver, stomach, lungs, and intestines. They are the first parts of the body to rot. Fascinating. We never get visitors here. Come see us anytime. A friendly face can hide guilt. Yet, I do not suspect him. Is this salt you are working with? Uh, not salt. Natron. It dries out the body. And it fries my hands to shit. I have got burns all over. Although, they have been better lately. Has the Natron changed somehow? The texture has been a little off. Powdery. They must be getting it from a new supplier. If you want to talk, Natron, Man of Back is the expert. If Natron is used to dry the bodies, there may be something wrong with the Natron. I should speak to the worker out back. Tell me more of the Natron. The dead man sleeps beneath a mound of the stuff for 40 days. Then he is brushed off, washed in wine, and wrapped in linen. You can see more bodies drying in the courtyard.
Je dis encre. These bodies are dried with natron? Hmm. Who might you be? A temple inspector. Right. About time you got here. Memphis has been stinking of rot for months. I suspect a problem with the natron. Where does it come from? Not far from here. Guarded by good men near the canal. Watch out for crocodiles. And lizards. Did you say lizard? It means something to you. Uh, I've heard it whispered in taverns. Rumors only. If you have nothing of substance to offer, I will be leaving. Wait. I can tell you this. Our natron is tainted. It is mixed with sand. Go to the warehouse just north of the great temple. The gods be with you. So the mummy is rotted due to the tainted natron. Let's see what is in this warehouse he mentions. Right position, Gere. Here is the warehouse. I need to be careful. to disgrace the innocent. May the gods be kind. Salt is cheap. There must be more than gold to your crime. Gold had nothing to do with it. A priest in a blue sash brought my orders. He did this to me. He threatened to do the same to my daughter. I brought foulness on this city only to protect her. I swear it. Please. Help me and I will end this. Here. I kept it. Take it. I'll send this writer to the devourer. The seal of Anubis. A priest sabotaged the natron. The letter mentions a bandit cave. I will go clear out this viper's nest once and for all.
Wait a second. You face the Green God this day. I guess so. I could hear that was the same after all. Heart will judge you in the afterlife. You have to Forever. Memphis is dead, will sleep peacefully now. Tonight, 